my family away from my Carolina home. Had dreams about Hey YouTube and welcome to the Trailbound Bug Channel. I am Junebug and today we're going to be talking about my four favorite items from my Foothills Trail Hike. Uh, I did three days on the Foothills Trail. Again, if you guys are interested in it, it is www.foothillstrail.org. Um, really great 77 mile through hike you can do. It's a beautiful area and I highly recommend it if you get a chance to. Um, let me say, start off by saying I did take plenty of other stuff that I really enjoyed. But these are four things that I've never used before and I kind of thought were luxury items and I wanted to just kind of uh, show them off to you guys, get your guys opinion on them and give you my opinion on what I thought about them. So let's start off. I have darn tough socks. Um, these are the Light Hiker Crew Cut. These things are amazing. They got a little extra padding in the bottom than my other pair that I have, which is the Cool Max Quarter Cut. Um, these are great for, you know, like mid-length boots or anything like that. They're $20 at uh, REI. I did, however, find out that you might be able to get them at Marshalls for $12, uh, which is a really great deal because these things have a lifetime warranty on them. If the elasticity goes out on the, on the ankle or you get a hole in it, um, they will replace them. You contact them, you ship it to them, and they'll ship you a new pair. And for just a couple dollars in shipping, it's worth it. Uh, these are great, great socks. I wore them for three days straight, only taking them off when I got to camp. Um, and my feet stayed dry. Um, They're extremely comfortable, and they didn't really smell at all. After three days of wearing them, I let them air out the last day. Um, when I took them off waiting for the shuttle, they didn't really smell at all. Uh, they still smelled kind of new, but I'm sure on a, on a longer hike than that, they probably get a little bit of smell to them. But they are a synthetic wool blend. They wick the moisture away from your feet. They are really, really great socks. Um, and like I said, these are darn tough socks, and they really are. Um, definitely worth the 20 bucks, like I said, unless you can find them cheaper. Um, definitely going to be buying another pair of those. So moving on, this is kind of a, a technological aspect of the hike for me. This is my Mophie Power Station XL. This is a 12,000 milliamp uh, backup battery. It has two USBs on it, uh, so you can charge two different items. I believe it's 2.5 amps of uh, charging speed, so it charges stuff extremely quickly. This will actually uh, charge my 2800 milliamp battery in my S5 four and a half times. So I was able to charge my phone, my camera, and my radio with it um, multiple times and it was, it was really nice to have. The only downfall I see of this, it weighs 14 ounces so it's really heavy for a luxury item. But to have uh, power to all your stuff and only have to carry a pound to do it, uh, this will get you to you get into town, you can charge everything else, charge this back up. Um, it's really nice to have. Actually, uh, you guys heard me uh, mention him in one of my other videos. Jim, um, again, amazing guy. He was definitely our trail angel um, on our little hike. But he actually told me, he's like, I don't go anywhere without my Mophie uh, backup battery charging case for his cell phone. He said it gives him a whole entire day's uh, longer battery life. So check out Mophie products. Um, I actually got this one for $25, which is a steal of a deal. It's $130 at Best Buy, Target, or on Mophie's website. I actually uh, picked this up at a pawn shop that I work at, so you never know what you're going to find at a pawn shop, and you might be able to find some really great deals. So just a quick plug, Money Man Pawn uh, in Charleston, South Carolina. Check them out. They have great deals on stuff. That's where I was able to find this. So, moving on, this is my Eton Raptor emergency radio. Um, this thing is awesome. It has multiple uses, and it, it weighs in at about 11 ounces, which is a little hefty, but for what you're getting out of it, it's awesome. Just to point out, the first thing, which everyone seems to be amazed by, is a bottle opener on it. For me, it's not really that important out in the woods. Cool thing, though. It has a built-in carabiner directly onto it so you can snap it onto your pack and let the sun charge it while you're hiking. It does take 18 hours of direct sunlight to fully charge this 1500 milliamp battery. However, if you're just hiking along each day with it on, it charges it enough to keep it full while you're using it at camp for a little radio. 
Um, speaking of which, it has an auxiliary plug, you can hook your iPod into it. The speaker um, that it uses isn't anything great, but you're not really trying to jam out in the woods and bump the bass or anything. So uh, for a little bit of ambiance music in the background, it's, it's great. Uh, it does also charge your cell phone off of it. It will charge mine uh, three quarters of the way. So just in case of an emergency, this is a secondary backup battery for me, um, which is really nice. It also has a altimeter, barometer, compass, um, thermometer. It's got all kinds of stuff in it. So when you wake up in the morning, you can click on it and see how cold it is outside. Or when you stop for lunch, you can say, hey, we're at 1,200 feet. Um, camps at 2,200 feet and you know you're about you know halfway there maybe so really cool product uh, it does have a radio like I said it has a little antenna that pops out of it um, one of the neat features of it that I really like is the NOAA weather radio uh, band on here so you can get weather reports I know being up in the mountains it would be really important to have that so this thing is definitely uh, a luxury item however it's really nice to have and the best thing about it is you can hang it from the roof of your tent while you're getting ready to go to sleep and it has a small LED, three LEDs actually, on the bottom and it puts off a nice glow in your tent. It's not too bright and too annoying. So this is a really great product. I was able to find this for $38. Um, I believe you can get them on Walmart.com for just over $45. But uh, search around, you can probably get a better price on it. But if you're a prepper or if you're into, you know, being prepared for emergency situations, this would be a great right radio to have. Um, like I said, it's it's got plenty of features to it: alarm clock, it's it's got the calendar, everything you need, and it'll even kind of guide you on the weather. Like if today is going to be sunny, um, the Miller bars on there will show you that. So really cool radio. Check it out, Eton Raptor. My last item is a luxury item. This is the Thermarest Z Seat. Um, this thing was really, really nice to have. Certain situations came up, uh, you know, like uh, it was muddy and I didn't want to set my pack down directly in the mud. I was able to pull this out and lay it down, uh, put my pack on it, lean up against a tree, and it helped keep my pack clean. It also, for a seat, it obviously works really well. It's a 2.2 R rating for insulation, so you can sit it down on some snow or something, and you'll stay pretty warm sitting on it. Uh, it also has other uses for me. I found that I could lay it out and um, sit my food bag on it, or when I was done doing dishes, um, sit the clean dishes down on it so I didn't put them down on the ground and have to clean them again or wipe them off so they stayed clean while I could dry them and put them away. So this thing is, is really great to have. It, like I said, it folds down pretty flat. I was able to stick it right in the outside of my uh, sh mesh pocket on my backpack. Really convenient to have and only weighing two ounces for a luxury item. In my opinion, that is definitely worth it. Um, I would recommend looking into it. You can get them at REI for $14.95. So pretty cool little item and like I said, I recommend getting one. It is nice so you don't have to sit down on the hard ground all the time. But those are my uh, four favorite items that I, I found that I really enjoyed using while I was on the hike. So if you guys have any questions on any of these or any comments, please get back to me. Put them in the bottom um, and I'll respond as soon as possible. So remember to click like and subscribe. And until next time, happy hiking YouTube.